just think they would want us to get married in a temple or something, not a Christian church. Who does that nowadays? We're not into bed. Besides, our focus should be on finding you a husband. Double wedding, remember? This is your bedroom, and the bathroom's down the hall. Thanks. And why do you have to get married at the same time? My mom's wish. On her deathbed, her exact words were, the two of you have to get married at the same time, a double wedding. Wow. I guess I just don't really get that. Like, why would you wish that on your children? I don't know. Is it a Buddhist thing? I don't think so. So, why don't you have a boyfriend? I guess I just haven't found the right one yet. By the way, this George is a very nice guy. He has his own business. He travels all the time. No need to look any further. He's the one. How do you know he's the one? Like I said, he has his own business. He's a nice guy. And he travels all the time. What does any of that have to do with anything? I'm only trying to help. You told me you don't have anyone special. <sighs> Would you... Slow down the drinking and use a napkin, please. Yeah, I'm here. Did the uh, Welch group confirm? Yeah, looks like you got him. They'll get a hold of you when you get back. Great. I missed you. Do you want to know how much I missed you? Tell me how much you missed me. I'd like to stick my fingers inside you. And no fingers this time. Let's try something else. Let's say I'm not wearing any clothes. Are you standing or sitting? I'm standing. No, uh, I'm sitting. On a chair? On an office desk. Massaging your breasts until you get wet. Okay. What else? Then, I'm pushing inside as I'm on top of you. How does it feel? It's warm. And moist. Okay. What else? Now I'm in. All the way. Ah. What are you doing? Just, don't you knock? What do you, what do you want? Uh, I forgot to tell you, George called and moved the date to tomorrow night. I just got here. The sooner the better, right? Yeah, right. Joan was 18 in this photo. You married an 18-year-old? Uh, no, it was, a, it was a photo of her when I first met her. This was taken right before she died. Cancer, you know? I'm sorry. Uh, she was really beautiful in both photos. She was. Thanks for the night. Oh, um, thank you. I had a nice time.
Thanks. Yeah, I think so. Every 25-year-old has a girlfriend or boyfriend at this age. My cousin's a pilot, and he's got a, a really cool 1990 King Air. Hey. You're Daniel's sister. Sister? What, we don't look alike? No. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> or stepbrother and stepsister. Came out for a casual drink, huh? I just went on a blind date with someone. What about you? What are you doing here? Well, the truth is my husband kept calling me and it was driving me crazy. Actually, my ex-husband. So is it bad? What? Your blind date. Oh. Not like so bad, but I don't know. He showed me photos of his late wife. Ugh. <laughs> All these blind dates, I'm exhausted. Not a single one has worked out. I feel like a piece of meat on the market. Well, finding the right one takes time. I just want to settle down. Well, you can't just settle with anybody. You have to settle with the right person. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Want to play pool? Hey. Old injury from soccer? Yeah. You should take some painkillers. It's okay. It'll go away. Sit with me. So, is George nice? He was nice. Is he the one? I'm not sure. I want you to pay attention to me now, all right? Sometimes the right one is right in front of you. To look any further would only make yourself confused. Wow. What? Why are you talking to me like that? Like what? Like I'm an old maid or a spinster or something. Well, that's where you're heading. Okay, we're done here. Good night. Night.
So what do you want to change? I just want everything on an angle. Um, let's start with the table. Just not against the window. Here, just pile up. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Maybe we should push it. Yes, okay. Let's push it. this out a little bit. Um, this, this chair. Just like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks good. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. You have a record player? Do you listen to records much? Never. <laughs> Is this you? Mm-hmm. How old were you? Like 13. I was with my um, foster parents in South Africa. You want to try something stronger? What do you mean? I mean... You want to smoke a little weed? Sure. Have you ever smoked pot before? No. You right? <coughs> so strong. <coughs> it's not that bad. So I was standing at a bus stop with some other girls. We were like waiting for the school bus. This was back in Illinois. And there's this um, car driving by, like a shabby looking Ford. And suddenly it parks right in front of us. And um, this boy gets out, he's like 18 years old. He comes toward me and he looks at me in like a funny sort of way. And then he pulls me close to him and he sticks his tongue in my mouth. And I just panicked. And he left. And then got in his car and drove away. <laughs> <laughs> People really do that? Apparently. <laughs> when was your first kiss? I can't remember. 
You can't remember your first kiss? No. Why not? Mm. I don't know. Well, what's wrong with that? Don't tell me. What? You never kissed anyone before. That's not true. I'm just saving it for the right person. You're saving your kiss? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Benoit. Hey. George called. He wants to get it again tomorrow night. Okay. You have other plans or something? No. Had you been thinking about it? More and more recently. Was it what you expected at all? It was different. Different how? Like, 
What was that? <laughs> so, you were surprised? You're really enjoying the food tonight. It's like food. <laughs> Describe someone you want to spend the rest of your life with. Someone I can talk to and, and just have a good time with. you should feel pressured to have a double wedding. Things just have to feel right to you. I'm just following my mom's orders. Yeah, but she's dead. She's still my mom. Maybe she was high on meds when she said that. I mean, maybe she had no idea what she was talking about. It's such a weird dying wish. Maybe she meant something different. Like what? I don't know. Well, there's no way for me to find out now. Well, what do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Hi, stranger. Hi. You work here? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, what can I do for you? We want to order that cake in the window. It's for her wedding. That's okay, you don't have to tell him that. Who is that? It's my ex. <gasps> you know, I really like that one a lot. It's, it's the one I'd want for my wedding. Just fill out that form for me. You look radiant. Is this the uh, famous Mount Rushmore? Yes. <laughs> Dearest Margaret. Don't read it out loud. Oh, sorry. Who's Margaret? Me. You? It's my birth name. I changed it. When did you change it? When Luke and I got married. You can do that? Of course. Call me Margaret. Margaret. <laughs> I like the sound of that. I think I should make it my name. What do you think? Sure. This is the postcard he sent me back when we were dating. I was in Illinois. Why were you in Illinois? I grew up there. Right. <laughs> Why are you here? 
Because of Luke. He's from South Dakota and he proposed to me at Mount Rushmore. He did? Yeah. Hmm. How far is it from here? What? Mount Rushmore. Five hours by drive? Let's go see it. I've seen it enough. I've never seen it. I want to see it. Then go by yourself. No, I want us to go together. I can't. Come on. I really can't. Please. No. Mm. No. No. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> mm. Hey. Hey. What's up? Just getting ready to go on a trip. By yourself? No, with Lauren. Our neighbor Lauren? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know you guys had become friends already. Yeah, she's a... Uh... We just clicked. Can I come? Why? I don't know, it'd just be fun to go on a road trip. You don't have to come with us this time. Come on, it'd be fun. I'll ask Daniel and the four of us can go together. Come on, I'll pack my bags. Sorry for the wait, guys. It's okay. all right. Everybody ready? Yeah. Hit the road. All right. What do you think of these? They're nice. You know, whatever you decide about the wedding, I'm good with it. Just can't wait to be married to you. Your attitude's changed all of a sudden. Why? It hasn't changed. I just want you to be happy. I think I'm gonna go to bed. I forgot toothpaste. Ask them if they have any. We have two, so you can hold on. Okay. Okay. Right. Thanks. Bye. I had a 
funny thought. I think a bud is a person's most important feature. A bud? Mm-hmm. But says a lot about a person. Ooh. What does your butt say about you? It says that I am kind. Your butt says that? Mm-hmm. What does my butt say? Uh, it says that you will live a long life. Where does it say that? It just does. I think you should quit your insurance agent job and become an ass reader. You mean like a palm reader, but I read asses? Yeah. What else does I, my butt say? I think it's a brilliant idea. What else did your butt say? That you're vulnerable. Smoke pot? No, you didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> did you just smoke pot? Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Whoa. 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 So you can tell me to calm down, but I can't tell you to calm down? What the hell happened to you? <laughs> Nothing. None of your business. <laughs> Don't you dare smoke pot again. I am your brother. All right, let's you, not do this here, please. Yeah, a brother who thinks he's the, the, the most successful, the most popular, the most important person in the world. That's my brother. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about you being a self-centered, arrogant asshole. Okay, let's just go back to the motel. Mount Rushmore is an iconic American institution. It should be happy we're going. I don't understand what the big deal is, though. Aren't they just rocks? They're not just rocks. What do you mean they're not just rocks? I mean they're not just rocks. Okay, you don't have to yell at me. I'm just asking you a question. Look, well, you keep asking the question. You're going to make yourself sound like you don't know what you're talking about. 
Oh, okay. So you know everything. Everybody else is an idiot compared hey, to you. Guys, oh, just idiot. stop it. Cell phone's ringing. Hello? When can we do it again? Who is this? Two days ago you were in my bed and now you don't know me? Who are you? Why are you marrying that guy? What? Hello? Oh, hi. I told you never to call me again. I'm going outside. No, wait, please, please don't go. I haven't said anything about you sleeping with our neighbor, so why can't you do the same for me? Sexy or something? <laughs> um. <sighs> I have to tell you something. Sure. never gonna happen again and I don't really even know why I did it but I love you and I don't I just can't I just don't want there to be anything between us you know so I, I thought so you mean you Recently slept with somebody, not like B D before Daniel. Wow. But it's done. That's good. <clears throat> Why? Was this like before we got engaged or after we got engaged? After. So then why did we get engaged? Why did you say yes to me? Because I love you and I want to marry you. It's... And I want to spend the rest of my life with you, but this, <sighs> I don't know. I th I guess... Found it in your seat. Where's Sarah? She left. Confession that she brilliantly pointed out. Yes, 
What did she confess? You know the story? I'm the one who didn't know. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. It's okay. The wedding's off. I think you should take her back. Why? Because she really loves you. Besides, mom and dad would be disappointed. Okay. You gotta stop that. Why? We don't do things just for them. We do things for ourselves, too. But wouldn't that be, like, selfish? No. Morning. Morning. You already made one. Oh, this one's for Lauren. They're her favorite. You want one? No, thanks. Sarah Lund, understand? Do you understand me? Answer me if you understand me. Yeah, I got it. Just remember, she came to me first before you. Punch him! You understand me? Someone in the face. Mm. He deserved it. I completely agree. College, I wrote a ton of music. About what? Memories. How memories define who we are. What if someone doesn't have many memories? 
What are you talking about? Everyone has memories. I don't remember much from when I was like eight or when I was 18, not even when I was 28. And my early 30s are a blur. I can remember pretty much everything. Why? Can't help it. Um, I'll always remember you. I was here the whole time. I thought you left. I wouldn't leave without you. We came together. I know. Just don't do that ever again. Do what? Never mind. Why are you acting like this? I'm sorry. Let's just go back. Do you want to talk? Tell me what's on your mind. Why did you want me to go to Mount Rushmore? I thought it was fun. Fun? For you? For us. Didn't you have fun? No. You didn't? It was... It was too much memory. Too much memory of Luke and I. I thought you said you didn't love him anymore. You're right, I don't, but... Yeah. 
You're making things really complicated for me. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, you are. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. What did I do? You showed up. I showed up. Yeah, you showed up here. Well, what about you? What are you doing here? I live here. Okay. Do you want me to leave? In the sight of God, and in the face of this congregation, to join together this man and this woman. Daniel, repeat after me. In the name of God, I, Daniel, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. In the name of God, I, Daniel, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Sarah, repeat after me. In the name of God, I, Sarah, take you, Daniel, to be my husband. In the name of God, I, Sarah, take you, Daniel, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. Two weeks. Oh. Uh, not a month, actually. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? Oh, sure. Are you having a good time? Hi. How are you? to get back together. Really? He said I always wanted a child. And he changed his mind and he wants to give me that. So that we can be a real family. How do you feel about that? I was happy at first when I heard him say it. But then I didn't feel right about it. I still want a child. But he's just not the right one to have one with. So I told him I wasn't gonna let him move back in. Good for you. You're going to take good care of yourself.
have a wonderful trip. Thanks. Hey, man, come on. Call us when you get there.